right, welcome back guys, Simon from Brainbest.com. Uh, been away for a while, I'm glad to be back uh, doing another tutorial for you guys. Uh, so today what we're going to do, we're going to use a load cell to actually create a simple Arduino scale. Uh, let me show you the parts we're going to use today. Uh, we have the load cell right here, that's one that's not been set up, as you can see. And the way you set up these, as you can see in the video here, uh, you attach a plate at the bottom and a plate at the top so that when you put something on the scale, it actually flexes the actual load cell and that's the information we're going to read. Now, we're going to read that information using an UNO right here. And also, let me zoom in so you can see this guy a little bit better. This one is an HX711 and this basically what it does, it amplifies the signal, the signal received by the load cell the signal is very faint so for the uno to actually be able to read it you need to amplify it using this guy and for just for fun instead of using a regular lcd we're going to use an oled display this is a very small one and i like using these because they don't uh, they're easy to use and also they don't take a lot of power so we're going to see how to interface that and to switch between units from uh, grams to kilograms and pounds we're going to use a rotary encoder and with the push function, the button on here, we're gonna be able to reset the scale at the beginning. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Now, to actually uh, use load cells, you need to calibrate them because they're all different. So when you receive them, uh, you might buy two of them and they won't read the same way. So we need to run a little program to actually calibrate uh, the load cell. So we're gonna to to look at that and then we're gonna look at the code that makes it all work. And then we'll be back and test it out right here. So let's go check that out. All right, so the first thing we need to do is find a scale factor for this load cell. And we're gonna do that by using this little piece of code here. As you can see, it's not very long. And at the beginning, we're including library that we're gonna use in the next uh, piece of code that we're gonna look at after this. Uh, then which pin is connected to what, start the library, and start the serial monitor because we're gonna use that to display the scale factor that we are gonna take and put in the next piece of code. Uh, then we do current weight variable will be equal to 20 reading. So it's going to be an average of 20 readings from the scale. And then the scale factor is going to be obtained by taking that average and divided by a known weight. Now that's kind of like the irony of this. You need a scale to calibrate a scale. Uh, but a way around that is every, pretty much everybody has a cell phone. So if you Google your cell phone, it will give you an average weight of what it should be. Uh, without case, without a case or anything like that. So mine is a Moto Z2, I checked it out, it's about 145 grams, and I checked it on a scale, and it is pretty close to that, I think I got like 146. So that'll be good enough, so you can use this as a known weight. So once you have the weight of your phone, this one is in gram, uh, keep in mind this library works in kilograms by default, uh, so I will take the current weight divided by 0.145 which is 145 grams or 0.145 kilograms. And then I'll print the scale factor in the serial monitor. So let's try that right now. So I'm gonna start the serial monitor. I already uploaded the code and we should start getting our first readings. There we go. Now there's nothing on the scale right now. So I'm gonna take my phone and I'm gonna put it on the scale. I'm gonna wait a little bit, get a little bit of averages. So it looks like 107, 3000, something like that would be good. So I'm gonna write down that number and now let's go check out the other piece of the code that will do our Arduino scale and we're gonna use that number to calibrate it. So let's go check that out. All right, so here's the code we're gonna to use today. Um, just a note, I used to do in my prior videos, I used to go line by line and explain all this code uh, in video. Uh, I've decided from now on, I'm not gonna do that because it makes the video very long and I don't know how many people were actually watching the whole thing. Uh, so from now on, I'm not gonna do that, but I am gonna tell you that if you want a copy of the, the, the code of any of my tutorials, go to my website, brainbiz.com slash tutorials, and there you'll find web pages that you can copy and paste the code. I'll give you the links for the uh, library used and also a schematic to see how everything is connected. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. Uh, it makes the video shorter and you're, you're enjoying that or if you thought that was a great thing that I explained the, the code a little bit on video uh, so that way I can make a good decision on that. Uh, so in this code, we're gonna take the uh, 
the factor that we got, the uh, scale factor, and we're gonna put it here and say set scale. And that basically is gonna use that scale factor to actually calibrate our scale. So there you go, that's the code. So now we're gonna cut here, we're gonna go back to the test bench and try it out. All right, so I already uploaded the code to the Uno right here. So we're ready to go. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see the OLED at startup. So let me plug it in. There we go. Arduino scale starting up. And now it's asking me to clear the scale and click to zero. Now I'm just gonna zoom out. Here's my scale, there's nothing on it. Before I zero it, I'm just gonna put my cover on, like so. So it'll be easier for me to put my phone on top. So when I clear the scale, it's gonna take into account that this is already on it. So let me clear the scale now. As you can see, if I zoom in, it says zero kilograms, even though my case is still there. So now I'm gonna put my phone on the scale, which is supposed to be 145 grams when we looked at it on Google. So let me put it on like so. Let me zoom back in. And there we go, 0.145 kilograms, which is good. Now I'm gonna rotate my little uh, rotary encoder. Now we're in pounds, rotate again, and now we're in grams, 145 grams. So there you go, it works fine. It's pretty accurate. Uh, so there you go guys, that's the way it works. Uh, now we're gonna go back to the main camera and wrap things up and see what's coming up on the channel. All right, so that'll do it for today, guys. Hopefully you found this interesting and helpful. Uh, in the coming weeks, I'm gonna be redoing my Dart scoreboard. Uh, I've done quite a while ago. I'm gonna be doing version two of it. So changing a couple things. So you can check the original video right here. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I also got a bunch of other tutorials coming up. Uh, so I hope you guys will join me for that as well. Uh, like I said, during the video, if you want more information about my tutorials, check out the website. Uh, you'll find the webpage and more information on each one of my tutorials as well. Uh, so that'll do it. So once again, my name is Ivan and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.